Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this makeup look right here using the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. If you did not know, he did re-release this palette for a limited time only. I know this was such a huge launch and then it was just gone, so if you weren't able to get it the first time around, Hopefully this is your chance to get it again. So I wanted to bring out another look with this palette. Obviously this palette is a very neutral day-to-day -day wearable palette. So this isn't like a super out of the box extraordinary eye look, but it is a staple look to have in your rotation. So if you want to see how to get this look right here, then just keep on watching. As usual, I'm gonna start out with my Sigma Beauty Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Persuade. And I'm gonna apply that all over just to give me a nice base to work with. And I'm blending that out with a Zoeva 142 brush. I'm really gonna make sure to get this inner corner where I have a little bit more darkness and discoloration. And here's what the palette looks like. I'm assuming at this point, everybody knows what it looks like, but it's just a really good neutral eyeshadow palette. It's not too warm, it's not too cool toned. It's not too dark of a palette, so obviously it's not going to work for everyone's skin tone because the shades aren't that dark, but the glitters in here, like the shimmer top coats, are stunning, and they're like my absolute favorite thing about this palette. I'm going to start out with this lightest shade right here, and just with a really big fluffy brush, I'm going to pack that into my crease just to allow my eyeshadows to blend really easily. You can also just use a face powder for this if this color is not similar to your skin tone. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is just a little bit darker. And with a Sigma E35 brush, I'm going to start applying this into my crease. Again, it's not too much darker than my skin tone, so it's just going to give me a very light little bit of definition. And you can see I'm applying that kind of just where that natural crease is. I will say the most interesting thing about this palette is the eyeshadows definitely build up a lot darker. So this shade in the pan looks very light. And you can see it's just getting darker and darker each time I put more product on there, which I love because that allows you to do more sort of one and done eyeshadow looks where you can just use one eyeshadow all over and build it up in certain areas and it makes it look like you use several. This is just such a pretty crease color. Go in with a little bit more and bring up this outer crease area a little bit higher. So next you have so many different options for this sort of mid-tone shade. You could use the more gray color the more warmer brown or the more like ready brown. And I think I'm gonna do the more ready brown up here. And I'm going in with a Sigma E33 brush. I'm going to place that directly into the crease. So I'm first placing with that E33 brush and then with the E35 with no more product, I'm going to slightly diffuse that out. That way it doesn't bring the dark up too high. And then switching back to that E33 to continue blending that out. I'm gonna use the side of that brush and start to apply that onto the outer corner of the lid. So you can see I just kind of packed it down and then I'm doing back and forth sort of wiggle motions to work that into the outer corner. Then I'm also going to put some of that on the inner corner. So we're going to be doing kind of a halo eye. I'm really just making sure to get this socket right here. That way it blends with the crease. I'm just going in with a little bit more of that eyeshadow just to build up that pigmentation. And then again, I'm gonna switch back to my other brush to diffuse those edges so it blends nicely into that lighter brown color we used. Now I'm gonna take my darkest brown and with a Sigma E42 brush, I'm going to kind of repeat that process. I'm just not going to take it up as high. So I'm still packing it on that outer corner, but you can see it's staying a little bit lower to that lash line. I haven't done my concealer, so I'm not worried about fallout right now. I'm going to do that same thing on the inner corner. And then with that previous brush, I'm going to tap to blend. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Eye Coal in the shade Teddy, which is more of a red-brown, which will be perfect for this look. And my mirror is really far away, so hopefully I can do this accurately. But I'm just going to line this roughly across my upper lash line, just because I want a little bit more depth and darkness at the lash line. And the reason I like to use these liners, first of all, the color of this one in Costa Riche are stunning, but they also don't set down super quickly, which is what you want because you want to be able to blend it out. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker on this outer half. And now with a Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm just going to lightly diffuse that out. This is a clean brush. I'm just keeping all of that darkness on the lash line though, so I'm not blending it too high up. So in the center, I'm just going to take my finger to blend it because I want this to be the most blended right here and a little bit harsher on the inner and outer corner. And then now that we have the liner on, I'm going to go back in with that darker brown and overlap. So it's going to naturally keep a little bit more of that darkness, 
down towards the lash line and then it'll be the normal brown color a little bit higher up. Really making sure to get that inner corner. So here's the part in my look where I will go in with a shimmer and the great thing about this palette is you do have several different options for different undertones, different darkness, some are more glittery than others, some of them have more of a base color than others. It's just you can really do whatever you want with this palette when it comes to the glitters. Majority of the time I use either one of these two just because they're the most like translucent based glitters so they really don't have any pigment you just see that shimmer but I kind of want to switch it up and maybe do this eyeshadow right here. And I'm just going to apply that with my finger. So I'm going to take this one with my finger and I'm just going to press it on the center of the lid. This one in particular does have a little bit more pigment to it so you will see that base color. So I might do one of the other glitters right in the center. I'm not really sure. But I'm just going to pack this all over. I have very little on my finger right now, but I am going to get a little bit more. Okay, got a little bit more so I'm going to kind of do a swipe right in the center and then pack or press to blend outwards. Now I'm going to take this shade right here for a little bit of extra glitter. And I have them on my finger, so this was that first shade that I used. You can see it has more of a base pigment. Like if I turn to the side, you can see more color. And this one is more of just translucent with a bunch of shimmer. So I'm going to take that shade and just press it in the center. I don't know how much more. Oh, it'll do a little bit more. So it's just giving it a little bit more of a glittery look. Now sometimes when you do that, the glitter can kind of overtake the look. So I'm going to go in with that second to darkest brown. I'm going to repack that on the inner and outer corner. You want to press, otherwise you're going to fling glitter everywhere. Just press, press, press. Like that. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the Benefit Fan Fest. This look is beautiful with just mascara, but I am going to do some lashes today. And for the lashes, I've been loving these ones from Amazon. I will have them linked down below, but they are so beautiful and fluffy. I am still on my Amazon lash kick right now. Okay, glue is still drying, but are these not the prettiest lashes you've ever seen? And they're so affordable. I absolutely love them, and they feel like absolutely nothing on your lids. Okay, so I'm going to hop off camera and do my concealer, and then we'll get the under eyes finished and finish off this look. Okay, now that I have the concealer on, we're going to go in with the under eye. I'm going to take that lightest brown shade right here, and I'm going to buff it underneath the lash line. I'm going in with a Sigma E25. I'm first going to press this on the lower lash line just to kind of deposit that pigment, and then I'm going to do back and forth motions to blend it out. I like to blend all my eyeshadows where you can see kind of that eye socket sits right there. That's usually about where I go. Oh, don't do that. Okay, so I've got a little bit more. I'm going to do that same process. Just pat, 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 and then buff. I'm going to connect it on this outer corner. Now I'm going to take that second darkest brown. And I'm going to take this on a Sigma E20 brush. These lights feel extra bright today, so if I start squinting, that's why. I'm just going to press that. I'm going to take this about two-thirds of the way in, just pressing that closer to that lash line, and then buff with that E25. Okay, so for some reason, I feel like I used this brown on my lower lash line when I meant to use this one. I could be imagining that, but if I did, it's fine. But now I'm going to take this darkest brown shade again. And this is on a Sigma E15 brush. I'm going to put this really close to that lash line. And this is only going to go halfway in. So again, you see that I pressed it. And then I'm just kind of wiggling that into my lash line. So get up under those lashes, press, and then sort of wiggle it in. I always do a brown in my waterline, but I'm going to go in with a nude. This is the Tarte Fake Awake. I'm just going to put that all in my waterline just to really open up the eyes. I'm just going back in with that E15 brush with no more product just to make sure that nude liner didn't get on my lash line because I want to keep that nice and dark. For the inner corner, I'm going to take this gold shade and I'm just going to use my finger because why not? I'm just going to kind of pack that up in there. Okay, now I'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes and then I will come back and show you the completed look. And here is that entire look completed. I absolutely love it. This is kind of my go-to look with this palette. I just, like I said, switch out the shimmer depending on my mood and what kind of tone I want to go for. But yeah, it's just a simple easy but kind of striking look. I always get compliments on, you know, what is that shimmer on your lid and it's always from this palette. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you weren't able to get this palette the first time around, hopefully you can get it this time. But let me know what you want to see in my next video and I will see you next time.